What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing nostalgia from Inside Out 2. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of the page at the top edge of the glasses. We're gonna start on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and then down on the right. Now let's draw on the top edge. Starting back over on the left, we're just gonna give a slight bend going up and then out towards the top corner. Go over towards the right and do the same thing, going up towards the same height. Let's round out the tips. It's gonna come around down towards the bottom of the glasses. Now I just want to pull this back in on the inside on the left to right about there. And do the exact same thing on the right. Come down towards the same height, round out the bottom, and then bend that in. Let's close off the inside with a curve going up and then down. Now I want to trace the frames along the inside. So let's start from the left, follow that same curve going up and then out. I'm going to round up the end, come down across the bottom, and then back up on the inside. And it'll do the exact same thing on the right. On the inside of the glasses, we're going to draw the eyes. We're going to fold this up and then down. Now add some wrinkles on the corner of the eyes. Start with one angle line going up and out, step down and then come down. I'm also gonna add a small fold underneath the eye. Starting from the inside, come down and then up towards the outside. Now let's move down in between the frame, add a curve for the mouth, coming down and up. And we wanna shift the mouth over towards the right. So starting on the left, come down an angle, and then pull that back up. Let's add the tongue with a curve and it will fill the top area of the mouth in black. Let's add in the cheeks. Starting from the side of the mouth, come down and then out. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Now I'm going to move back up to the top and draw in the eyebrows. Let's start over on the left, then it's down and then out. Line this up on the right. Go back to the left side, come down along the bottom of the eyebrow, and then out. Now with the face complete, let's move up to the top and draw the edge of the hairline. We're going to start right in the middle, start with a curve coming down, and then bend that up towards the left, and we're going to create a fold. Stepping down, come down and up on the right. Let's add another fold, we step back, curve around, and then up. And we'll add one more fold along the side. Come down and then out. Let's tuck the head in underneath the hair. We we'll start over on the left, come around the cheek, come down and in towards the middle, go around towards the right, round up the cheek, and it'll tuck that in. Now in the center, we're gonna add a fold. We're gonna go up and then down. Now we're gonna move over on the left side, add a fold, going around and then in, add a fold, going around and then in towards the side, step back again, come down towards the bottom, and then in behind the head. Now I want to do the exact same thing on the right. From this point, we're gonna step out, go all the way around, bring that in, step back out, come in towards the head, and we'll add one more fold. Let's close off the top of the head with a curve, starting over on the left. It's going to go up towards the top, across, and then down on the right. Now we're going to add some texture across the hair, starting in the middle, then it's out and up toward the left. Step over, add another one, add a small gap, and do one more. Go out and up on the right, and once on the outside. Let's add those strings coming down from the glasses. We're going to start on the left, come straight down, and then bend that up underneath the hair. Go to the right, come down, and then back up. Now I'm just going to add some tiny little pearls on the outside. Starting on the left, going around with a small circle, add another one across the bottom, along the bottom of that curve, and then along the side. 
do the exact same thing on the right. And now with the head complete, let's move down and draw that cup just underneath the chin. So we draw an oval going out toward the left, over towards the right, and then back in underneath the chin. Let's connect the outside of the oval with a half circle, coming down towards the bottom of the cup, and then up. On the outside of the cup, we're drawing the first finger. Let's step out, we come in towards the oval, and then bend that back out. Now I want to layer two more fingers underneath. So coming down and out. And then the third finger, we're going to come down, go all the way around the hand, and then tuck the thumb in behind that top finger. And same thing on the right. On the outside of the hands, we're going to add a fold, coming down and out. And step back in, draw the bottom of the arm, coming around and then up underneath the hands. Let's pull that shawl coming down underneath the cup, starting underneath the left finger, coming down the middle, and then up. Let's go underneath the elbows, bend the body going out, and then down toward the bottom of the dress. Close off the bottom with a curve. Now we want to go back up to the top and draw the outside of the arm. Let's draw underneath the head, going out, go around the arm, and then bend that in. And then we want to add a fold, stepping back, coming down, and then in towards the side. Now let's tuck the feet in underneath the body, leaving a small gap in the center. Go to the left side, draw a straight line coming down towards the heel, and do the same thing on the right. Now I want to round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, come down and up. Now I'm going to round out the toe, go up and then in underneath the dress. Let's add the edge of the slipper, starting on the top left, then it's in and then down. I'm going to follow the curve of the foot, coming in towards the heel. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Nostalgia from Inside Out 2. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.